What's up guys, it's Ivan, and in this video I wanted to go over some 3D transformations with you guys and set you up for transitions, which we should do in one of the next upcoming videos, where you can actually see the change take place right before your eyes of whatever transformation we're doing. So let me just show you what a 3D trend transformation rotation looks like compared with a regular one. So as you recall from our previous video, uh, a regular rotation, for example, was where the picture you had just rotated or it scaled or it moved, right? But it was just along the two dimensions, 2D. In 3D, the whole picture here, as you can see, it, it rotates around an axis, around three axes. So a picture like this, it could go like that, right? And it could change around, which is what's happening here. So here I've rotated it actually 180 degrees around the Y axis. So as you can see what happened here, it actually, it was the picture, but then it rotated like that and the other way around as well, okay? Or sorry, no, just, just once, right? 180 degrees. Here I rotated around the Z axis and here around the X axis, okay? Um, and then here I have kind of a picture that's rotated along the X, Y, and Z axes. Um, they're all, so the picture rotated like this, like that, like that, right? Whatever, you get the idea. So. Let me show you how you can do that just to set you up for our next um, for our next video. So custom CSS, so let me just delete everything again. Um, so you have this, and again, if you want to do hovering effects, just put double dots hover, okay? But for now, I'll just do basic, uh, simple transformations. Oops, I'm gonna say copy. I'm gonna put it here put that and now we're we will still say transform but what we're going to do instead of just saying rotate like we did before or you know rotate 30 degrees we need to specify an axis in this case so if we wanted to rotate um so there's x there's y there's z you need to find an axis around which you want the picture to rotate so for example if you want to rotate it around x you're going to say x axis right rotate x and what it's going to do is the picture is going to rotate like this, so it's going to go like that, right, in, in, in that fashion. So here, as you can see, it already started. So it kind of it went like this, right? So as you can see, it's squished in. If I do 60, as you can see, it's like that now. If I do 90, it's like this, okay? So it flipped 90 degrees, right? If I do 180, it flipped around like this, okay? Which is what you can see here. And if I wanna add a cool hovering effect to that, I'll just put double dots, say hover, and there you go, okay? So something like that. So something also pretty cool you may want to use. It's especially nice with transitions where, for example, after you hover it, you know, it shows you as it moves over a certain amount of time. That's pretty cool, but basically that is how you would do 3D. Um, so, you know, if I want to do this, so I'm not even going to bother going, actually, if I should... Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll go to the other pictures. I was debating if I should just stick to one picture, but... Whatever, might as well, right? Might as well just go to all the other ones. So here, for instance, I'll do uh, transform. But you guys get the point, right? So I'll do transform Y, for example, and I'll do 45 deg. So what happened here is here's the Y axis. The picture rotated a bit around that Y axis, okay? Um, so uh, this, this may be cool if you have like a symmetrical or not symmetrical but a, a picture of maybe one item or one person or something on one side and when people click on it or if even if they don't it's going to have some animation that kind of turns the picture and has the person on the other side and then going all the way back right so maybe something like that that may look pretty cool um so here you know if i do 90 again it vanishes because right now it's right here so you can't see that little uh thin line at the side but suppose i make it hover here Uh, let me see, what, what did we do here? Transform. So it seems to be some kind of uh, technical difficulty, I guess. It's not uh, not showing properly. Oh, sorry, no, right, because 90, because it's it's, it's in place. My apologies. I'm, I meant to do 180. Yeah, so 180, it spins. If it's, if it's 90, like I said, it goes like this, so you can't see that side, right? Um, so I was trying to do 180, okay? So, and then the z-axis, you guys get the point. Um, if I take this, it's just going to kind of rotate around uh, around that, that axis there. So if I type here, again, I'll say hover just for some cool effects. 
transform rotate z 180 degrees and obviously right it doesn't have to be 180 just play around whatever you want it to be uh, but it goes like this right um, so you can add them all together there's two ways one is you can just say so say I'm gonna play with uh, let me let me play with this one here with this picture here um, so here I just changed it right so let me say um, there's two ways you can say rotate um, rotate 3d you can say and then what you need to do is you, you 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 need to specify the exact coordinate of your x of your y and of your z axis at which it's going to uh spin and do that that rotation at and then you need to say the degrees so i mean i'll leave it at 180 uh but i'll say you know for my x coordinate i'll say maybe one two three right and now what happened is it turned on that coordinate it turned 180 degrees kind of this way and the other way around okay so play around with it another way uh, you could do the same thing is actually just do what we did in the previous video say uh, rotate X you know 30 degrees um, rotate Y 30 degrees rotate Z 30 degrees okay and now that kind of accomplished the same thing so it spun 30 degrees around the x around the y and around the z axes uh, so I mean if I change this to maybe 60 as you can see now it's spun even a little bit more around that y axis right um, so that's basically it just a little introduction on doing these <laughs> uh, cool 3d rotations again it's 3d because it, it, it actually does change the picture within that 3d space okay so Thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Stay tuned for our next videos where we'll go over some transitions as well, some of those cool effects. Um, uh, and please subscribe. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed, I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next videos.